VC is a very secrecy industry. There are not many people are uh, actually work in this field. So uh, the most important is for this course, uh, practical is more important than theory. Uh, in, in my course, theory is only about 20%. And the other uh, 80% are mainly uh, teach students how to do a, a venture capital investment. From the venture capital's point, uh, of course, some uh, theory uh, related to the fund structures, uh, the, uh, uh, how a, what is the role of the fund management, and including some academic theories, uh, like check and balance theories, adverse selection theories. Yeah, we will touch base on that one. But the major point is on practice, and the practice is 80% of my course. Basic investment process is from sourcing, uh, screening, uh, evaluation, and then to decide on the due diligence uh, program. After due diligence, what is the valuations? And then come into the time sheet, you know, negotiation. All these are investment uh, are process of a VC. So basically, it, we need people have some sort of finance skill. But uh, more important is, you know, you have to learn some, some sort of negotiation skill. And particularly, let's say, when you talk to people, uh, when you raise money, people in general give you a lot of information, but you don't know whether they are telling you the truth or not. So in my course, I also have some section uh, teaching students to how to negotiate, how to detect uh, uh, lies in certain extent. And after that, you know, after you invest, we come into what we call pro-investment monitoring. And on that base, uh, before the investment, you are an investor. So you are sitting at uh, uh, the opposite table, side of the, of, the, of the negotiation table. But now you are actually become an investor. So you are in the same boat as the, as the entrepreneur. So you need to consider yourself shifting your identity from an investor to shareholders. And on that base, you have to be, become, think about how you're going to help the entrepreneur to build up the business. So, in terms of the skill, you need finance skill, you need negotiation skill, you also need some skill of entrepreneur. As an entrepreneur, how you look at the project, how you develop the projects. When I teach them all the things, uh, students, to some extent, they don't remember. So the, the most easy way to get them to remember what I told them is get them to involve in certain real investment activities. Uh, I have set up the Hong Kong Business Angel Network uh, under the support of Hong Kong Science Park. Uh, so my student can involve as a helper on those events. So in those events, they have a chance to see how the, how the uh, angels look at project and what sort of question they're going to ask. On top of that, we also have uh, some sort of business practicum. Uh, we have a couple of VC private equity companies give us the uh, projects to work on. So the students work on real life investment projects. The most important is because on the whole course setup, uh, it's a lecture plus a seminar plus, uh, uh, well, basically it's a summer in terms of equipment. So in each courses, I always include about three to four, uh, what we call co lecturers They are all a market practitioner. They are actually the head of some funds. So they will give talk to my student two hours and then have another half an hour Q&A. And most important is those people are willing to open the company to, to my student so that uh, my student can get into the company to act as a, a summer intern. And summer intern is always the entry point for a new entry to that particular industry. There's many, many things uh, a VC can consider. Uh, I would say that biomedical is always the preferred options, uh, but it takes a long time to develop. Uh, renewable energy is another, another trend which uh, people are uh, actually looking at it. Uh, but however, you know, as a VC, we can't invest at present because honestly, you know, for a VC, we are talking about a company that could be mature in about seven years' time. So the world seven years later compared to now could be totally different. So we are trying to look at the trend. You know, let's say, uh, biofuel, you know, uh, there's a lot of biofuel investment. But I will look at it, if I look at biofuel, I need to have certain kind of bioengineering factor 
So if a technology is as powerful, act together, then it may be able to solve the few problems in, let's say, five, six years down the road. Okay, thank you very much, Wu Thank you. Okay, thank you.